We begin in Canada, where President Yoon Seok-yeol is partaking the final leg of his three-nation tour that began in London earlier this week. My colleague Moon Gon Young, who is part of the Presidential Press Corps, starts us off. South Korean President Yoon Seok-yeol landed in Toronto Thursday afternoon on the third and final leg of his three-nation tour. Upon arrival in Canada's largest city, President Yoon headed to the University of Toronto for a meeting with experts and researchers in the field of artificial intelligence. His office explained that Toronto is Canada's biggest economic hub and a global leader in digital technology and the AI industry. I think it's safe to say that the final leg of the President's tour is aimed at two primary goals. One, for the nation to become a leader in the new digital world order, and two, to become an AI powerhouse. Learning from the experience of Canada, the senior presidential aide believes South Korea has begun its journey to become an AI powerhouse moving beyond the realm of semiconductors. The trip to Canada will also take President Yoon to Ottawa for a sit-down with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to discuss working even more closely on energy, including EV batteries, critical minerals, emerging technologies, and securing supply chain resiliency. It's here in Toronto, the world's emerging tech superpower with the fastest growing tech market in North America, that President Yoon kicks off his very first bilateral visit overseas as president. Now donning his chief executive cap, he'll commit the rest of his tour to deepen collaboration with Canada to generate more economic growth for both countries. Moon Gonyo, Arirang News, Toronto.